Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of April 19th through the 25th, okay? So keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. So what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Libra? Ooh, we have an open door. So we have a door that is open that is waiting for you to go through it. Looks like when you see it's interesting because there's darkness and then there's light. So, you know, it looks like you have an opportunity. All you need to do is walk through that door. Missed opportunity. Very interesting. Very interesting. So it feels like you've missed an opportunity. Maybe you're in the darkness. Maybe you're missing an opportunity. You're just not seeing it. You have to make a choice to walk through that doorway. So there's something that you are missing. The door is open. It's open. You just have to, you just have to go through it. Ooh, this is infatuation and obsession. So let's get that cleared right up right there. So somebody is obsessed and infatuated and they're missing another opportunity because of it. You've been ignoring your gut. You're not listening to something. There could be some stubbornness here. There's some sort of infatuation. You're ignoring the signs, obviously. And you're missing another opportunity. Ah, oh, it's reversed. Unexpected help is arriving. These cards are not meant to be reversed. So I feel like that you have, and that's what it was. I feel like they have, and that's why it came out reversed. I feel like you've received an unexpected opportunity, but you haven't taken it. Take it. Take it. These cards. What do we have for Libra? Increase in money. So this could have to be with have to do with money. You may you may be missing an opportunity that could increase your bank account. You have strong psychic abilities right next to you've been ignoring your gut. So you have strong psychic abilities, but it feels like you've been ignoring them. You know, you, you, and maybe it's because there's some sort of infatuation or obsession. You know, you have to really open up your perspective here. Is there something that you are holding on to that is not practical? You know, it's something that you're obsessed with that's causing you to miss an opportunity. That's what it looks like to me. And on the bottom of the deck, just give them a chance. Somebody, you need to give somebody a chance. And I feel like you're not giving them a chance. I'm sorry, I didn't let that focus in. Let's see if we can get it to focus. I'm getting a new camera as soon as I get a chance to do it. Um, anyhow, um, there's a, they, they've given you a new opportunity that you need to take. It's clear that you are ignoring it. Ooh, reevaluation is needed. You're being held back. You need to break free. You need to escape from something. Uh, Eight of Swords Reverse is an obstacle that needs to be removed. You have an opportunity to remove an obstacle. Obviously, it's something that you are obsessed with that you need to um, break free from. Struggling to do so. Uh, held back, confining yourself, restricting yourself. You know, why are you restricting yourself when you have a new opportunity? Death. This holding on is getting old when you get death reversed. That's getting old. It's time to release. It's time to let go. There's something you need to let go of. That's trapped. Somebody is trapped. They're stuck. They're choosing to stay stuck. You really, really, really need to release. Let something go. And it's really difficult by the looks of things. 
You need to let go of the emptiness. You need to, maybe somebody's even lying to themselves because they're infatuated. You know, the death card reversed is holding on to a dead end when there is a new opportunity. Clearly there is. The door is wide open for you. I feel like there's stagnation here. There's a delay. There's, you're indecisive. You're held, maybe you're held back by fear with these two cards. Fear of the unknown. There's something that you need to give a chance. Do it. Stop wasting your time re restricting yourself to this situation. That obviously, you're infatuated by it. Eight of Cups reverse. Now this, the Eight of Cups reverse is emotionally discontent. It's lack of spiritual growth. It's lack of self-esteem and worth. Emotional weakness. Staying put. Hoping for an apology. Avoiding the truth. Refusing to move on. Eight of Cups upright is saying goodbye. Reversed. It's refusing. Refusing to move on from something. I feel like you. If there's been a necessary but painful alteration. Somebody may have left or you may have left or somebody has left the situation. Obviously, with the death card and the eight of cups reversed. And you need to release it. You need to stop restricting yourself. This is like a wild goose chase that needs to end. Six of Cups, clinging to the past. Six of Cups reversed, clinging to the memories, reminiscing a lot, having a very, very, very hard time letting go of something. Maybe something has ended, you know? Death could be a death. It's the end of something. Something obviously has ended that you are having a hard time accepting. Six of Cups reversed is re reminiscing about the past. Everything changes. Somebody has left. I believe somebody has left. And it's, it's really, really, really hard to, to let go. This is freedom. It really is. There's some sort of selective memory here as well. It's like because of this infatuation and obsession with the Six of Cups reverse. This is like only remembering the good stuff, forgetting the bad stuff. It, you know, there's a need, there's a need to uh, know your value and know your worth. There's something you need to walk away from that you are refusing to walk away from because of uh, infatuation and obsession. Now, if it's not you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody that you're dealing with could be infatuated or obsessed with you. This is somebody from the past. This is this is um, refusing to see the truth. It really is. Somebody is refusing to accept the truth that it's over. I do see breaking free. From an obsession as well so somebody may be breaking free from an obsession or an infatuation this is packing up it's leaving home it's nothing stays the same this could be a sudden death which means a sudden ending unexpectedly you know, somebody decides to go through a new doorway. They finally decide. Maybe they start to listen to their gut and they just go. They step into the light. They step out of the darkness and into the light. You know, they start to see that there's a brighter opportunity when they go through that door. So I do believe that, that there is some sort of freedom from obligation here. An obstacle is being removed that has kept you restricted. Whether, it's, whether you are removing your mindset you're changing your mindset or somebody is leaving and they've been refusing to leave but now they're leaving if they are leaving it's suddenly and maybe and that could be what happened in the past because we definitely have a lot of memories coming up this could be a sudden departure I just got to be honest here with the death card reversed and the eight of cups reversed and, and it's somebody that you have a lot of memories with
Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is typically welcome news. It's uh, typically good news, may have something to do with a child, um, but it's also flirting, uh, admirer, and you may have some sort of admirer here that has feelings for you, that is expressing their feelings towards you. Um, nine of Coins. Now, the Nine of Coins is a very stable individual that is very abundant and independent, that is uh, successful and abundant. So we have an abundant, successful, independent person that is receiving emotional support or an offer of love or a message of love. There's somebody that is going to be expressing their feelings to this person. This person is abundant successful, hard working. We may have an entrepreneur here that is very skilled. Somebody may be starting their own business as well. Maybe your gut has been telling you to open up your heart, to follow your gut. The Page of Cups is a very intuitive card. This is an intuitive, somebody that is psychic. Maybe your gut is telling you that it's time to go your own way, to become independent. And whether this is work-wise or relationship-wise, there is a need for independence here. This is independent success. So we do have somebody in the future that is receiving um, an emotional... Uh, offer that is um, well this is a very generous kind offer a loving offer nine of coins a very self-sufficient independent person this is self-love this is self-love self because the nine of coins is independence and this is love so we have some sort of self-love here you need to really listen to your gut this week i feel like you're going to be receiving intuitive messages do not ignore them do not ignore them you are capable of doing it on your own you are capable of success you have some sort of skills maybe you need to use your skills maybe you need to express your skills some of you could be intuitive you know your your intuition okay take a take a look at this You've been ignoring your gut, intuition, money. And you have strong psychic abilities, increase in money. You, some of you may be able to make money you selling and, and expressing and using your psychic abilities. Okay, you have, psych you have psychic abilities that you can help because the Page of Cups is support other people. For so, so, so for some of you, you may be able to help other people with your psychic abilities. Okay? That's for some of you. Um, but some of you are resisting change, for one thing. We have these two eights. Eights are about change. They're both reversed. There is some sort of self-sabotage here. There's obsession. There's infatuation over the past. This past is holding you back. Some of you are holding on to a dead end. Um, I feel like there's a new opportunity that you are missing. You guys could also be dealing with somebody that is very intuitive, that is a healer or a psychic or a tarot reader or something like that, if it's not you. This person is very abundant. They And, and this could be you. you there's, a, there's an opportunity for abundance here. Eights are about abundance. Unfortunately, they're both reversed. But this is very abundant. So some of you have an opportunity for an increase of abundance but you will have to open up listen to your gut and go through that doorway that is wide open for you you definitely have an, an, an opening here and I and maybe that's your unexpected help maybe you've ignored this because of somebody in the past may even have something to do with a child you know so something could be holding you back I'm not sure if it's a child or if it's an ex lover or something like that I feel like you have to release something and you're stuck, you, you're trapped. You're not really trapped and that's just your mindset. Somebody has a mindset where they really need to change their mindset. They need to open up. They need to uh, leave the past behind. This may involve packing up and leaving home, but it's it's not an easy choice. Somebody is restricted, they're, they're, but they're not really restricted. It's their mindset that says they're restricted. This is staying put in an emotionally dissatisfying situation when it is time to go. It is time to go. 
So I do believe that this week you really are going to be receiving intuitive nudges. You may be communicating with somebody that you have some sort of feelings for, but there's something in the past that is restricting you. And my advice is to just go through that doorway. Stop. Stop uh, confining yourself to something. You're, 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 you're choosing to be confined refusing to move on, refusing to take a new approach. It almost feels like you're allowing somebody else to control you as well. One more card. Staying put. Staying put in emotionally dysfunctional situation because of some sort of obsession. When you have an opportunity for abundance, express yourself, follow your heart, act in self-love, put yourself first. You have an opportunity here, you do. This is a very emotionally fulfilling opportunity. For some of you, you may be traveling. It feels like your ship has come in. This is something you've been waiting for. Get on board. It's time to go. It's time to focus on the future and leave the past behind. Some of you are, you know, you may be traveling at a distance, moving, going someplace. I do see that. I feel like focusing on your future is probably, I think you're going to be thinking a lot. I think that you have been reevaluating, you've been ignoring your gut, you've been ignoring what you want to do, you've been ignoring yourself, you've been putting yourself last. Put yourself first. Follow your dreams. I feel like you have an admirer here or you are admiring somebody. There's, there, there is some sort of, I feel like it's a new love connection here. But it may require you to release something from the past so that you can step into the future. So I feel like this week, I feel like this week you are probably... Um, I think you're going to be connecting with somebody that is on your level and you're going to be receiving intuitive nudges to go in that direction. Um, will you do it? What will, what's the overall outcome this week? What is the overall outcome this week? The hermit thinking about it, going within, withdrawing from others, reflecting, spending time alone, planning your next move, listening to yourself. So this week you're going to be going within. You are. You're going to be going within to plan your next move. You're going to be, uh, maybe you're going to be going through some sort of awakening, you know. This is alone time, reflecting on the choice, planning your next move, setting goals, thinking. So yeah, I feel like this week you're going to be thinking about your future. You're going to be reflecting. Uh, you're going to be coming aware as well because the, the Hermit is a card of uh, Jesus consciousness. I feel like this is going to be a week of, of reflection and planning for you. Um, and maybe becoming, because you've been ignoring your gut, becoming consciously aware of what you want. Now, this is another card of self. It's interesting. So we have self here. You're going to be re really reflecting on your needs. Do I see you making a move this week? Uh, you may be communicating with somebody and flirting and, you know, having fun. And, you know, uh, that's what I see. But I don't see you uh, making a big move this week. I think the opportunity is there, but I think that you are reluctant to release something that has restricted you because of some sort of obsession. Um, but you're going to be receiving some strong messages. You are. So listen.
listen to those messages this week. Good luck.